everybody, my name is Ilse and this is Hobby KR, the channel where I make content about anime events and culture, mostly in South Korea. Today is kind of a sad day. I'm going to the UFO Table Cafe, to the Kimetsu no Yaiba Cafe for the last time. I was gonna say I'm going to the UFO Table Cafe for the last time, but that's not true. I'm just gonna go to the Kimetsu no Yaiba Cafe for the last time. I'm also going to be getting the special drink for Rin because Rin and I have the same birthday and they always have like a special postcard or something to commemorate her birthday so I'm gonna get that. I'm really happy about that and I'm gonna visit some other stores but mostly I'll just take you to the UFO Table Cafe so you can enjoy the Kimetsu no Yaiba stuff one last time because I know I've been kind of attracting people that really want Kimetsu no Yaiba content so I wanted to make this video so you guys can like take a look for the final time. So without further ado, let's get on the subway and get going. So on the menu on this occasion, we had four different mats, uh, some desserts and then two entrees. One was like some cheese thing and then pasta. And then we have Nezuko, Tanjiro, Muichiro and Sanemi's drinks. Here is the special drink set where you have a rin and then a special, I think, spring postcard. And here's a little shrine they did for rin on her birthday. The UFO Table Cafe has shrines for characters' birthdays pretty much whenever they happen, but I've only seen them with fate characters. I've never seen Kimetsu no Yaiba character shrines. Here is the mat I got. We got Angry Nezuko. It's kind of scary, honestly. And this is a special drink that came with Erin's birthday postcard. So it was just like an orange drink and it came with a cute straw with a bow. I think it was like orange juice or liquor, not, not liquor, but juice with tea. It was pretty deep, the taste, and I quite liked it. And I don't really like this year's design for the postcard, but whatever, I'll take anything with Rin and her birthday on it. So I got the pasta dish. The pasta had tomato sauce with bacon and I think mushrooms. It was very good, honestly, and it looked very appetizing. It was a little bit spicy. It was also accompanied by this, I don't know if this was a soup or what, but it was a very thick cream with mushrooms and I think you were meant to eat them together. And if you weren't, I think that the thing on the side was just way, way too thick. I'm gonna show you after. But here I am kind of showing you the pasta. I just thought that it looked really appetizing so I wanted to do a close-up shot. Here is the side soup, aka something else. It was very, very thick. If it was meant to be a soup, I really couldn't have stomached it on its own, but what I did in the end was just mix it with the pasta and I guess it made kind of like a rosé sauce. It was honestly very good, one of the best things I've eaten here. I think I definitely overdid it today. I'm going to buy this rider figure. I saw it in Animate for like 20,000, but here it's 16,000, so yay! So I met up with my friend. Uh, it was my birthday earlier this week, and he surprised me with these two figures as a birthday present. 
they are amazing so it's Ugu and Dan and I love them so thank you so much Thomas for these I love 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 them and I'm definitely going to be making an unboxing video for them so to show you up close here is the folder that I got or the clear file that I got on the UFO table cafe so it's really nice First, here's the postcard, a Dean postcard, and I got this free Garden of Sinners thingy from Laftel. And here's the folder. I really thought it was cool. So, as you can see, it's clear on one side, so you can see the lunch on mat. If anyone can tell me what it says here, I would love to know. I think it should be this way or this way. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's clear on this side, and then we have Tanjiro on this side. I really liked it. They had Tanjiro, and I forgot who else they had, but um, I just wanted Tanjiro because, I don't know, I thought he's like the character I like the most out of the options, so yeah, I really, really, really like it. Hello everyone, it's the next day. I didn't finish filming anything yesterday because today I'm going to the Odessa Sweden live viewing for the Ant Craziness concert. So I thought I would incorporate that into this vlog because I doubt I'll, since I already kind of described the live viewing experience in the Roselia video, I'm just gonna talk about like what I thought about the concert but I'm not gonna make a whole video about it and I wanted to give an update on my Ita bag because I bought some new things and I also rearranged because I didn't quite like the layout last time so this is what it's looking like now I'm not sure if you can see with the glare but I think it looks better and I'm using the space uh, better this time I decided not to hang anything from it but yeah I like it much more now I am back from the concert and I have no words. They were incredible. I was utterly impressed with the concert. So it started one hour late, unfortunately. They said because of uh, audio difficulties that they were having in the, in the stadium. In the venue, I mean. Rachel is just such a good singer. Every single note was perfectly hit she maintained the same energy same force the entire concert she added a little ad lib here and there but mostly she was just so consistent it was so impressive and her voice is amazing and her smile is amazing and her bass playing is amazing and her stage presence is amazing and i was starstruck even though i wasn't even there in real life but overall oh my god how can someone be so talented at so many things at once and she played the entire concert in heels. Rico Pin, holy... I didn't know she could play guitar that well. I mean, obviously, like, Roca is inspired by her, but wow. And she gave so much fan service. Like, she knows exactly what she's doing. She was, like, putting the pick in her mouth. Yeah, it was a moment. I mean, if you have the chance of seeing the show, like, the live viewing or the delayed viewing or, like, live, which I would love to do, go. Amazing. The only thing I would like is that they didn't really have much audience interaction and interaction between themselves, each other, I mean. So they didn't, I don't know if it's because they started an hour late, but they didn't really talk to each other much. Like they pretty much just played the whole time and then left. And again, I don't know if it was because of the time constraint, but there was no encore which was sad. I mean, no one was asking for it from what I could hear in the audience, so I'm assuming maybe they were asked not to ask for an encore. I don't know. But I do wish that there had been more interaction between the members and just more songs because it was so amazing. Oh, I highly recommend it. I'm going to wrap this video up here. I hope you enjoyed going to the Uvo Table Cafe and the Race of Sweden concert with me. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, goodbye.